Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss the question which says evaluate the following integral using substitution. Integral from 0 to 1 sine inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square tx. So let's start the solution. Let x is equal to 10 theta. Then dx is equal to secant square theta d theta. So the new limits are when x is equal to 0, this implies tan theta is equal to 0 and this implies theta is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 1, this implies tan theta is equal to 1 and this implies theta is equal to pi pi 4. So therefore, integral from 0 to 1 sine inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to integral from 0 to pi by 4 sine inverse 2 tan theta over 1 plus tan square theta into secant square theta d theta. This is equal to integral from 0 to pi by 4 sine inverse. Now this is a formula of sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta into secant square theta d theta. And this is equal to integral from 0 to pi by 4, 2 theta into secant square theta d theta. Now let us integrate this function by parts. Let us take theta as the first function and secant square theta as the second function. So this is equal to 2 into now first function into integral of the second function that is secant square theta t theta minus integral derivative of the first function that is 1 into integral of the second function. Now this is equal to 2 into theta into integral of secant square theta d theta is tan theta minus integral of 1 into secant square theta d theta and the integral of secant square theta d theta is tan theta. And this is equal to 2 into theta tan theta minus log of mod sec theta. Therefore, integral from 0 to 1 sine inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to two theta tan theta minus two log mod of sec theta from 
0 to pi by 4. So this is equal to 2 into pi by 4, 10 pi by 4, minus 2 log, sec pi by 4, minus 2 into 0 into 10 0, that is 0 minus 2 log secant 0. Now this is equal to pi by 2 into 10 pi by 4. Now 10 pi by 4 is 1, so pi by 2 into 1 is pi by 2 minus 2 log secant pi by 4. Now secant pi by 4 is root 2, so this is minus 2 log root 2 minus 0 plus 2 log secant 0. Now secant 0 is 1, so this is 2 log 1. Now this is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 into log root 2 minus log 1. Now this is again equal to pi by 2 minus 2 log root 2 over 1 because log m over n is equal to log m minus log n. And this is again equal to pi by 2 minus log root 2 square because log m raised to power n is equal to n log m. And this is equal to pi by 2 minus log 2. Hence the answer for the above question is pi by 2 minus log 2. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.